Hey everyone, my name is Rob and today we're going to be using Python to do some object detection using YOLO v5. If you've never heard of YOLO before, it stands for you only look once and it's an open source package for doing object detection. It comes with pre-trained models, so it can do some object detection just out of the box. You can also fine tune it on your own data set if you wanna do custom object detection. I first came across YOLO v5 when working on some Kaggle competitions with object detection, and it really currently is the state of the art. There is a lot built into it that makes object detection just easy to do. So we're gonna walk through that and see how it goes today. Okay, so here I am on the YOLO v5 GitHub repository. You can see that it's a pretty active repository and they do have description here of what it is and have some official documentation. To get started with it, the first thing we actually need to do is clone this repo. Now I'm working on my desktop machine, which is a Linux machine running Ubuntu 20.04, and I also have um, two GPUs in this machine that the YOLO v5 will use to predict. It also uses um, PyTorch as the backend where all the models were trained, and we will actually set up a new environment here that will run YOLO v5 and have all the correct packages installed. So I'm switching over here to my handy terminal and I'm in my directory where I like to clone my repositories. And all I'm gonna do is run this git clone here. Now it's recommended too that you have Anaconda installed. Right now I, I have Anaconda installed on this machine and that'll let me create a brand new Conda environment for YOLO v5. So what it uh, says to do next is just to CD into this directory where I cloned. And if I do LCTR, we could see these are all the files from this GitHub repository that we have cloned. And then I'm actually gonna uh, conda create uh, with the name YOLO v5. So I'm gonna create a fresh new conda environment where we can um, install all, all the required packages. So I just do that by doing conda create dash name. I named it YOLO v5 and I do need two dashes here in the name and I'll type yes to install all these dependencies. Okay, so in order to activate this conda environment, I just do conda activate YOLO v5 activated in this environment. And you can see because it says YOLO v5. I also made sure I installed Python 3.8 because the docs for YOLO v5 do say it needs at least 3.7 it looks like. So now that I'm in here, I can just pip install all the requirements that are in this requirements text. If you wanna just look in the requirements text, these are all the packages that it will install and it'll make sure I install um, all the right versions. So this might take a little while because it's gonna have to download some of the wheels if it's your first time installing these packages and it needs to run through and install them all. Okay, so it looks like it's done installing them all. So I'll just clear this screen. If we look over in the repo in this detect.py, we could see that it actually can be called just from Python with some arguments. So by default, it will uh, pick certain weights to use. So YOLO v5 comes in different sizes. Let's look and see what sizes of the weights that we have as options. Yeah, so they're shown here, YOLO v5, the smallest is N and the largest is X. And it looks like there's even a new one, efficient debt version of it. And what else are we gonna get it? We're gonna need to provide it the source. Now I wanna provide it this, my webcam to see if it will run directly on my webcam. And we just provide the number where the webcam is associated. So if you only have one webcam, you'll be putting in zero here and we'll see how that, that works. And we're not actually providing any data to train on so we don't have to worry about this. That's all we really need, I think. Okay, so I think I have it working here. The command that I needed to run was just Python detect, and then I'm using source five, which is 
my second webcam and I have a green screen here behind me so it's going to show the green screen when it loads up. Let's try running this detect and see how it works. We can see that it is using uh, the small version of uh, YOLO weights but there we are. So you can see me, there's a person, here's my, oh it thinks my fingers are carrots. Thumbs up. Uh, let's hold up, let's take off my glasses. Is it no glasses? Tennis racket. All right, not perfect, not perfect. Um, phone, cell phone, it's good at that. Uh, maybe a cup, cup, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. And you can see the confidences are shown on the side of the image. So it's drawing the bonding box and showing the side. But if you wanted to pull out just the, the bounding boxes, you could do that as well or store any information from YOLO B5 by going into the source code. Cool, so we're gonna kill that and let's try to load the larger weights because the larger weights are gonna mean that it performs more accurate and it might be a little bit slower but it's gonna perform better. So what we need to do to get the larger weights is run Python detect and then feed in the YOLO V5 X weights and then give it the same source. Now you can see it's actually downloading these weights, fusing the layers. All right, and now we're back to my object detecting. It can see the chair. It sees the corner of the chair. It knows this is a, comp a lot better. Does it think my fingers are still? No, it's pretty good about my fingers. Maybe if I just hold my hand, no, it thinks I'm a person. Cell phone. This is just working on the default pre-trained weights, but if you wanted to, does it know this is a microphone? but you can make it more customizable by fine tuning the training on a different data set that's pre-labeled. There we go. Look, that's pretty good. It's pretty confident of all the things. Now let's try to run it on video data set. So I do have this data set, which is a video footage of a bunch of different cars driving around. And I'm used this for a different YouTube video that I created on working with video data, but let's try to run this object detection on this video and see how it works. We're gonna call this again, but instead of giving it a source, we're gonna give it the desktop MP4 file. Okay, so it looks like it's running and it's detecting people, bicycles, cars. So what it's doing here is it's running now on this data set. It has the number of frames that it's gone through of the entire video and the number of people that it sees, cars. These are just some of the labels coming out here printed to our command line. So it looks like we can provide it view image like this in order to actually view the images as it's processing. Yeah, there we go. It's a little bit slower but it is working. We see that it's detecting all these different cars and objects, even detecting the traffic light, which is really impressive. So if I kill this now, I can um, change other settings like the confidence threshold and the IOU threshold. So if we only want it to show objects that it's very confident of, it's defaulted to 0.25, but let's change that confidence threshold to 0 0.9 and run that. There, now it's detecting much less because the threshold that it needs to detect in order to show needs to be at least 0 0.9. Let's do 0 0.5. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then there's also something called an IOU threshold. And this basically means uh, it's, it will suppress any objects that it detects that overlap each other. So IOU has to do with the overlapping of two detected objects. Let's do 0.9 for the IOU threshold is 0 
So what's happening here is when we set the IOU confidence to be really low, it won't allow any boxes to be overlapping each other very much. It'll just suppress any object detection that overlaps with another object detection. So by turning this off and setting it really high will allow for a lot of overlapping boxes. And let's do one last run with a really low confidence threshold and a high IOU threshold. There we go. So this is a lot of different boxes and even this car that it's detecting in the lower right side is very low confidence, but it's displaying it because we've set that confidence threshold so low. Thanks for watching this video. It's a short introduction to using YOLO V5, both on a webcam and processing videos for object detection. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.